Okay, so last session, the Knights of Victoria boarded a train to Inverness to begin their next case involving the disappearances of townsfolk from a fishing village in Kilmere. Once aboard the train, suspicions grew amongst the team in regards to several of the accompanying passengers. Something seemed a bit off. There was a group of what seemed to be uh, a group of scientists or doctors, uh, a pair of German military officers, and two, man, two men of Arabic descent, all rather hyper-focused on a particular briefcase in the care of one of the scientists. After trading a few drinks and some stories, a faked medical emergency led to a confrontation where shots were fired, leaving Henry Hart partially maimed and the holder of the briefcase at the mercy of the knights, uh, who has reluctantly agreed to lead the group to a freight car near the back of the train where a metal box has been suspended by a series of chains as it rocks back and forth from whatever is inside. Um, and we kind of left it with Henry uh, still injured, uh, and since he can't be with us tonight, it probably makes sense that uh, you know he is still recuperating from uh, from those injuries. Uh, Mike, I think you had attempted to give him a uh, potion to try to assist in the uh, in the healing of his wounds, but it uh, it did not seem to take. Um, and then Dana, I think you were saying that perhaps you might try to uh, to work a little bit of healing uh, on him as well. So, um, if you would like to try to go ahead and do that, we certainly can. Um, you know, he he won't be able to really participate tonight since he can't be here. But you know, if we want to at least make the gesture, <laughs> that way when he does end up back in the game, he he would be at least a leg up uh, and not have to worry about spending time to heal because we're still within what's called the golden hour uh, at this point where uh, the injuries can be healed uh, with first aid. Uh, after that first hour, then only natural healing can take place. Okay. So I go then to healing. Mm -hmm. That's and correct. One. Yep, go to healing and give yourself a plus one. Okay. I think I did that right. Let's see. That's good. Okay, so that gets that <laughs> does heal a wound uh, then for him. For the guy. All right. Okay, so he's healed up a little bit there, but he's still still hurting pretty bad uh, and uh, Peter uh, is there and he tells you go I will sit with the angry man <laughs> <clears throat> I like you more and more Peter <laughs> thank you Peter um, so uh <laughs> Cleveland Barnett, uh, which was the uh, the guy that uh, had shot Henry, uh, is also injured uh, at, at this point, but is able to at least kind of limp uh, forward into uh, the next car. There were two other individuals that had uh, piled onto the car with you guys, uh, one of them a female. Uh, the other one, a male, uh, both dressed similarly uh, to to Cleveland Barnett, uh, and they uh, are also packing uh, because when they came on, they drew their guns. But uh, um, no these one. Are the, these are the two that I'm standing in front of with my gun drawn. Uh, oh yeah, let me get uh, let me get us to the actual train here since Andy wanted to see this map so bad <laughs> well it was not just me I think <laughs> I know <laughs> um, so I did not put walls down so I mean there's going to be a lot, lot of uh, free movement here but if you scroll down to the bottom of the map 
Uh, please don't run off the train. <laughs> <laughs> um, you'll see uh, everybody uh, pretty close to about where we were. Uh, you guys were getting ready to move into this uh, bank c- car uh, just right behind uh, the uh, standard car there. Uh, and uh, Henry uh, was seated in this chair here. I'm gonna grab, <laughs> I'm gonna grab Peter, and uh, put him <laughs> out here. Heard that about you. <laughs> <laughs> so that we know that he's babysitting Henry. Uh, but Cleveland uh, has. Uh, taken you to the next car you see this large box uh that it really kind of looks almost like a safe uh to a certain extent but it's got holes uh kind of carved into it uh so that air can get in uh and it's suspended from the walls by these chains uh and it's just kind of rocking back and forth and there is something uh inside this thing and uh, Cleveland as you approach says if you know what's good for you I wouldn't open that box well that just begs us to open it that doesn't <laughs> I mean <laughs> it's like saying no, don't look well. man do we oh, look like we know more. what's good for us <laughs> I mean, based on the last 30 minutes of behavior. You've met Henry, haven't you? <laughs> or at least what's left of him. <laughs> so, so other than the train movement, the box is not moving on its own. It is. It is moving something inside it seems to be rocking, back, rocking it back and forth. Oh, okay. Well, um, Cleveland, can you tell us what is in the box? I would like to know who the devil you are first. Because you seem to have taken an interest in us. We don't know who you are. There are others on this train that want what's in this box. And apparently you do too. So I would at least like to know who it is that is attempting to take this from us. Let's just say we are a, and and I don't even know why at this point I'm talking by the way, because nobody's going to listen to me because I'm a robot. I'm not a robot, but I I am definitely not a human. Uh, But, uh, We are just a group of travelers that protect and look out for common man. Well, that doesn't tell me much of anything. Why are you you interested in what we have? We are still trying to ascertain if you are good or evil. (laughs) I mean, if you could answer the question, that'd probably save us a lot of time. Are you good or bad, mate? You don't even know who we are? Well, you're Cleveland, right? That's my name, yes. I think that's a pretty good start. I'm Bendigo. This is my friend Ronnie. There's old man Mapple. We got Charlie. We got Lady Moira. You met Henry. And who do you work for? I mean, who does anybody really work for if you're not working for yourself, right? I mean, who do you work for, mate? Bunch of questions here. At this point, you have us in a position where we can't do much negotiating other than us telling you it's in your best interest to not open that box. But what I will tell you is we are American. And we are members of the Central Intelligence Agency. 
we can work with that. So you are messing with a project that is sanctioned by the United States government. But you're on English soil. That is correct. <laughs> we were here covertly. So not sanctioned by our government. That's true. We so were here are... on our own accord, on our own mission. And that okay. mission is to get this box safely to Inverness. So it, it might cause some political difficulty if your presence here without our government's permission carrying dangerous cargo were to be announced to people, right? Would that be... That's a that safe, safe assumption, to... yes. So really quick, the box, mm -hmm. uh, does it have what appear to be air holes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, Can I do right. a notice using my hagstone? Look at the box. Sure. Mm-hmm. Can we stick a stick in one of the holes? <laughs> I was going to recommend that. I've got my electro staff, and I could just turn it off so it doesn't shock anything, uh, and we could poke it through and see what what Bandy's about. I need for something to like take your electro staff, or have it like zap into another dimension or something. Well, I mean, we could try and turn it off. We could, we could take if it's got stick batteries. With fingers in it. Ooh, I like that idea. Maybe Wait. we start with the hagstone? <laughs> Seeing as to how uh, wow. it won't get anybody bit. Did you uh, did you make a roll yet there, Dana? I'm looking at what I need to do to add the hagstone. I need, I need to add a... I want to do a notice, I guess, and then add a 1d4. Okay, yeah, so you should be able to just go in and... I can uh, write 1d4 on there. Yep, yeah, uh-huh. And it'll know what to do. Should. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, it did. Did I see anything? Uh, you said you did roll it? I did. Huh, it's Got not that. coming up on my screen. She rolled a seven. It came up on ours, yeah. Well, that is weird. Scroll down. I did. I'm all the way down. Scroll, scroll up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> scroll to the right. Can you scroll sideways? How about diagonally? Hmm. Well, that is weird. I don't know why it's not showing up on mine. This entire program. Yeah, my whole thing's locked up. Whole screen's locked up at this point. Okay, well, this is going to be fun. Here we go. <laughs> Theater of the mind. Here we are. <laughs> um, so. Hey, thanks for the uh, train maps. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> See what you did, Andy? <laughs> at least I'm not making you call out each stop the oh. nine realms of <laughs> as the conductor okay so what did you get on your um, roll for uh, for notice seven. a seven okay yeah um, you scan the box you scan the room and I mean there's like literally nothing that is setting off any kind of bells and whistles uh, in here at all. Now it doesn't necessarily mean there's nothing paranormal here because the Hagstone, all it does is it detects spirits and or the Fae. Mm. Okay. okay. Uh, but you're not getting any aura uh, at all coming from anywhere here in this room. Okay. Uh, except for maybe Christie's arm, but you've seen that before. <laughs> have <laughs> we're very good friends i've seen her arm no secrets <laughs> friends. may i i'm just gonna i'd love to just walk right up and peer in using mm -hmm. the etheric goggles to see into the dark okay of yeah. the box mm -hmm. sure you can see that there is a figure certainly inside uh and it's kind of rocking back and forth which is what's causing the box to kind of shift uh in its chains 
Um, and it looks to be humanoid uh, in form. Um, since it's night vision, I mean, you can make out some features. Uh, it appears to be a mustachioed uh, human male uh, inside there. He's eating pistachios? <laughs> M mustachioed. Oh. <laughs> he has a mustache. <laughs> he, a he got a mustache. <laughs> so, tell, uh, tell everybody, I guess. Well, <laughs> you know, I guess I could be a little more, you know. Hey, uh, Cleveland. You want to tell us why you've got this mustachioed man? <laughs> you've been away with the boss. It's the mustache, isn't it? <laughs> Creature is attempting to trick you, I believe. Uh, that is, we don't have a man in a mus with a mustache in that box. Whatever that creature is, it's trying to trick you. So the creature morphs? It knows that she loves mustache. And and he's really eating pistachios instead. I can hear them rattling around in there. Um, when Those shells come out the holes. <laughs> when Cleveland uh, speaks, you see uh, an eyeball you just poke right up to one of the uh, the holes there, and is kind of looking out, uh, and you hear from inside. Uh, did, he, did he say he's frozen? No, I believe it's saying it's Solomon. That's Solomon. That's one of our compatriots here on the train. Like I said, it's a trickster. It's trying to trick us into letting it out. <clears throat> so why, why are you taking it in Vernet? For what study. Is, and what is it? <laughs> what is it? That's what we're trying to figure out. Yeah. It's, it's some sort of changeling. Yeah. So you brought an unknown entity, creature, from the United States. Into no, not from the United States. We got it here. You captured it here. Yes. So it's an English citizen that you captured? No, it's not an English citizen. Whatever this happens to be, it is It is nothing that we have seen before. Well, we've had experience with the abnormal. Um, so maybe we can kind of help each other out. Well, seeing as how uh, I shot one of your compatriots and uh, you all shocked me... <laughs> Uh, how can we help each other out? Uh, like I said, we, we've got some resources available to us that uh, we may be able to help ascertain the origin of what's in the box. And it shakes again. Mate, did you all stick a rag in its mouth or something? No, we didn't stick a rag in its mouth. Did you, like, put something over its mouth? I'm having a hard time understanding it. N no, it's... <laughs> I'm telling you, it's trying to trick us. So, okay, so, out of the, yeah? so, how did you capture it? How did we capture it? We ourselves did not. Uh, there is a gentleman here on this train by the name of Washington Riswell uh, that is a scientist, British, uh, that it was found on his property. He kept it, uh, and through sources that shall remain unnamed, we were brought into the picture to uh, assist him in getting it to Inverness where it could be studied further. Wait, this British bloke found something on his property, so he called the Yanks? He, 
seems strange that they wouldn't call us. As I said, I cannot speak yeah, I mean, as to who it was that he spoke with, but let's I just say see. that it is a mutually interested party that is within the science and governmental uh, circles, both within British government and U.S. government. It, and it is in the best interest of both parties that this thing be brought someplace safe where it can be studied. Well, and the nearest place where we can take it... No, we're not taking it to London. We're, we are trying to get it as far away from London as possible. So, so the people on the train that want it, why would they want it? How do you know they want it? And are they the bad guys? Well, if you want to consider them the bad guys, yes. The Germans and those two Arabic individuals, yes. We've had our eye on them from the moment that we walked on the train. Now, you all are a bit of a surprise. <laughs> Not the first time we've heard that. <laughs> yeah, we actually get that a lot. <laughs> We're surprised ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> given this is it was supposed to be a simple train ride um, so but why other than a dirty look they might have given you why do you feel like they're after this creature because of where we believe it came from it's where I'm not at liberty to divulge that information Solomon could we get him in here and ask him I prefer that you not is that your boss and you get in trouble? No, it's not my <laughs> boss. The furthest thing from it. Are you his boss? Or is he an intern? Uh, neither. Hmm. We're just here to protect him and to make sure that he reaches his destination. You mean the bloke in the box with the mustache? No, nope, that's not him. That is... <laughs> We're also <laughs> trying to make sure that that creature that's inside that box reaches its destination as well. But well, we why... But why the destination? What, what is there? Where are you taking it once you get there? We have a U.S. sanctioned laboratory in Inverness where we are taking it to do the studies. Well, can we go? Yeah. Not there. No. Why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> because you don't have the clearance for it. Well, you can get a sum, right? I mean, you're technically not even supposed to be here. I still country. don't know who you are. Look, I you told have you. not I'm told Bendigo. me anything. I have given you more information than I probably should have at this point. Now, Could we get one quid moment, pro please? quo, tell me who you are. Tell me who you work for. Can we get a minute just to, to talk amongst okay. ourselves? We're going we're gonna to huddle up for a minute. Just yeah. I have a quick up. question for Tyner because I can't remember if he told us that we have like a... Do we have... Do, do the Knights have a headquarters or a lab or something in Inverness. I can't remember. We discussed that there is probably something up there like a like an annex of some sort uh, okay. that, that you guys could probably go to, yes. Okay, I thought so, but I couldn't remember for sure. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. But up. So, you guys think we should tell them? Or should I we like, make totally a, a new it. gang name? Yeah. <laughs> well, any anything that we make up, they're, they're going to look for cred. So, is, is, is our affiliation supposed to be secret anyway? I don't think so. I don't know. We you up. are seen as an extension of the British Secret Service. <clears throat> I mean, is that something that, like, do people know about our... There are rumors. Oh. There are well, rumors of it, yes. He's from the CIA in America. They probably already know about us. Yeah, My well, guess. And let's be honest, guys. I mean, it's just him and us in the train car. I mean, if it turns yeah. out that he's lying about being CIA, we take him out. Well, there's there's two other people. In the oh, car with us? I mean, we've yeah. five people. Yeah, it's still five to three. We've had better odds than that. Worse odds. <laughs> or both. Yeah. Uh, should we ask him for a badge? Something official? Make sure he is who he says he is? Nah, that's not a bad idea. 
Thanks. Yeah. I'm going to go ask him real quick. Right. Hey, Cleveland, you said you're CIA. You got any identification? Do you mind? Go slowly, mate. We're watching you. He pulls out a badge. Looks legit, guys. The problem is, is we don't have badges. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't need no stinking badges. We don't need no stinking badges. We don't need no stinking badges. You do have uh, pins uh, that denote uh, your membership uh, in the Knights of Victoria. In unison, should we all yeah. slowly open our coats? <laughs> 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 yes. Oh Christ. <laughs> Victoria. Yeah. We've, We've heard, heard of about us. you. Then you know we're not to be messed with. You've right? proven that. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the crazy old guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we do apologize about Henry. So now that you know who we are, and we know who you are, what do you reckon we work together? What is your government's interest in the creature? We're interested in anything supernatural, especially on British soil. But why... Number one, how did you find out about us? <laughs> it's a funny story, actually. We just happen to be on the same train. It was kind of a fluke, mate. Yeah, we were on our way to Inverness for, for other reasons. but Yeah, Henry told me to go talk to the Arabic blokes, and that kind of piqued their interest, and we so he sort of noticed something there, and one thing led to another, bada-bing, yeah. bada-boom. We, we followed you in the other car. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Of all the trains and all the empire, you had to walk onto this one. So, you're telling me you had no prior knowledge to what was in this case this case <laughs> and what was in the box no. before you got on this train credit right to nope. you guys you're pretty good at keeping secrets <laughs> now we had no idea he looks over your shoulders uh, to the other two <laughs> that are on the car with you and they both shrug <laughs> <laughs> and all three of them shake their heads. And in the box, it's very fun. I think he's out of pistachios. Do you have more pistachios? <laughs> Did you all give him anything to drink in there? I, the creature doesn't need anything to drink in this short trip that we're taking it was tranquilized now it's awake and now it's trying to get out <clears throat> right it's not the creature it's not the creature the creature is already out did you just say the creature's already out that's what it sounded like so if he's a changeling, he could actually be any one of us. Or he could oh, be you, Cleveland, to pretending go. to be you. Cleveland. It's... <laughs> it's attempting to get us to let it out. As soon as that thing is out of there, it's going to run away, and it's going to try to assume the appearance of something else until this train stops and it escapes. It's tried this before. We're not going to let it happen again. Whatever you do, do not let it out. I think that's what a creature would say. <laughs> but what do you want? You've already cut me. <laughs> I'm already bleeding. I can't show you. You, did, you didn't get shot in the gut. No, I didn't get shot It'd be in the worse. gut. Cleveland. So let's not get all high and mighty. All right, look. We won't try to get your creature out of the box. 
and make sure that you're not really the creature. I'm not the creature. <laughs> it's not me. It's out there with you somewhere. Can you understand me? All right, creature. If it's out here, which one is it? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I can't feel. Can you hmm. please just at least put the thing out of my mouth? So he does have a rag in his mouth. Full of mustaches. The king in it. I have a quick question. Who had the key? Who, uh, who Cleveland had it? had it. We don't uh, have it. But I, but I have it now. Mm. Oh, you have it? Mm. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think he knows I have it. Okay. Because um, he thought he thought Henry had it before he shot Henry. Mm-hmm. Maybe we all need to. Meaning on a yeah. different car. We're away from that man. So Can this creature. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look suspicious at all. I know that. Are right, you guys going to back to the standard car? Yeah, uh, maybe someone should stay. I don't know. What do you think? Well, we don't want to. We don't want to put it put it where we're outnumbered in this car. Hieronymus, I want the key. I How loud died. are you saying that? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using my mental powers that's on my sheet, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. It's not, I'm just my program is not that frozen. I can look what? directly at your sheet. <laughs> what if <laughs> What if we in italics? What if we move to the other side of the car to talk Go for to it. ourselves? Yeah, you could certainly do that. <laughs> yeah. Or move. There you go. Well, I'm glad you all can move. Oh my god, it just cleared everything up. <laughs> yeah, that's all it took was you guys moving. <laughs> I Bendy think go, it goes outside the car. Uh, I think we should totally unlock it. <laughs> I will do it if no one else wants to do it. <clears throat> it said it can take any shape. Do you know if it could take the shape of a robot or is it only like living creatures, like real people. No yeah. offense, Ronnie. Not a robot. <laughs> no, mm. are you, who are you asking that to? Everybody? I don't know. Well, I was just oh, going to well, say. We have no it, idea. Well, Ronnie, you've got the key, right? Well, I've got the key, but I don't know if it's going to take the shape of a clockwork. Then. Maybe we could whisper to you a secret passcode and then we could try to get everybody out of here and you unlock it. And then when we jump back in, it'll either be two of you, but only one of you knows the passcode, or it might kill you. Or it but, might see you, and it might turn into you, and then when you come back in, there'll be two of you. So we all need a passcode. <laughs> I or, think we can outwit this thing. Or I wonder if it could turn into Peter. <gasps> Not even in here. What if he's already turned into Henry? Well, as long as he's nicer, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> it might be an improvement. Alligator with a sore toe would be nicer than Henry. <laughs> I think one of us um, should unlock it, but I think we need to distract Cleveland if we can. Why do we want to unlock this? Diversion. Because what else are we going to do? Stand around and talk about it all day? (laughs) (laughs) I think we, regardless of what happens, we need to be involved in this from here on out. They need to let us into their super secret sanctioned center. Something tells me that opening the box is not going to convince them of that. All right. How about they either let us go with them to study it, or we open the box? I like that. There yeah. you go. 
Because mm-hmm. okay. what? Can they keep us from going with them? I mean... I mean, they said we don't have clearance, but technically they aren't supposed to be here. We know some people in pretty high places. We could probably, you know, get into a bunch of trouble. Gonna stop us. I mean, we're the Knights of Victoria. What are they gonna say? No. You saw his face when we showed him those pins. (laughs) Their heads dropped. (laughs) Yeah, I I, I say we insist on accompanying them to wherever. Yep, I like it. Yep. All right, break. <laughs> okay. Hands in. No, we're not doing that. Okay. What? No. Well, you put your hands in and like, go knights or something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what about the passcode? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. No, we would all need a passcode. <laughs> no, you just need one. <clears throat> All right, the secret word is perpy. Perpy? Perpy? Or herpes? No, with the P, mate. Perpy. Uh, perpy. Yeah, like purple, but with a with perpy. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Don't think anyone just as long as we don't have to use that in a sentence. <laughs> no, you just shout it out. <laughs> If someone, if, if look, if we think that you're actually the creature, and we go to shock you with our electro staffs, but you're not, you yell "Perpy, Perpy," and we'll know. Oh, oops, that's actually Ronnie. Get the changing. other one. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. All right. All right. Let's go. As long as we don't forget the word. Well, it's pretty hard to forget. <laughs> Impossible, even. All right, let's hit. Let's uh, let's yeah, we'll talk right. to him. Okay, Father Meppel, you're right there, man. You may hit talk it. to him. Oh yeah, um, Cleveland. I, I think we're going to uh, insist on accompanying you to your your final destination here, as you know. Knights of Victoria is kind of our it's our our duty to to keep an eye on stuff like. To Inverness. Yeah, where wherever you're going, that's where we're going. Well, there's not much I can do to say nay to this, as seeing as how we are on a set of tracks heading in one direction. But once we get off of this train, we're taking the cargo to its destination alone. You are not coming with us. I cannot divulge the location of our laboratory to you. Okay, what, well, what you if you blindfold us? But we'll be we'll be with you, or we'll, we'll have to call call this up up the ladder a little bit and and see what happens. Well, you're welcome to do that once we once we arrive. I suppose I'll have to do the same. All right, it's a date. You have your people, get a hold of our people. <clears throat> Can I have the key back? Nope. Mm, absolutely no. not. Oh. Do you know which one of us has it? Or doesn't? At this point, no. Right, let's keep it that way, mate. All right, then. Well, I have to go see if I can fix myself a bit. So if uh, you gentlemen don't mind, and ladies don't mind, uh, I'm going to be heading off to the sleeper car. And he, he begins to uh, walk through the passageway between the two cars. Uh, and then is heading off uh through the uh, the standard car that you guys were in and, and back up towards the sleeper cars. I don't know if you noticed that I've got kind of arrows leading from one to another to kind of show you the path of uh, how the cars kind of fit together there. Uh, do you guys stay in the bank car at this point? I think one of us should stay in the bank car. And I can't. Yeah. I want, okay. mine, I want mine staying, but I don't think we should 
keep the key and the bank card together. No. So, so I can I can hand over the key. Give it to Moira. Well, she's just gonna open the box. <laughs> Moira, do you promise not to? I promise not to open the box. Okay. Perfect. So I, I slide over and give you the key. Hopefully without the other two people in there noticing. Okay, make a stealth check. Oh, you had to say it that way. I know. I said it and I was like, oh. Don't. A... All right. I know stealth check. All right. Still, 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 still. Because I'm not very stealthy. Roll. Am I able to, or? I got a five. Okay. That should be enough, right? I was going to ask if I can support by by trying to like walk past strategically at the right moment. Um. Yeah. But um, maybe it was adequate. <laughs> yeah. If you go to um your macros down there and then look for support. Do I have um, to target someone? Uh-huh, you're going to target uh, Hieronymus and then click on support. And that's the three hands that are reaching in towards one another. It's a green background. Um... <clears throat> okay, so um, you can add one onto your roll, then Hieronymus, so that brings you to a six. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to roll a notice. A three for him. six for her so that is uh, it, I think with the support um, she saw movement uh, and this is uh, the, the female agent uh, she saw movement but you can't tell whether or not you know she really noticed the uh, transition of the key or whether or not you even had it so, <clears throat> Kind of up in the air at this point. Yeah. So we're good. So Moria, Moria has the key. Who's staying on the bank car? Well, I will stay on the bank car. Okay. Moira. <laughs> now Moira's not staying on the bank car. I want to look in the in the hole though. In the hole. Okay. Before you go. Sure. Uh, you see, uh, it's you've got uh, night vision though, don't you? Well, of I've some got sort. A, yeah. I don't think it's called that, but I don't remember what it's called. The dark sight. Dark sight. Yeah. 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 Dark sight. Yeah. Dark sight. Uh, so yeah, you can peek in there, and you see, you know, a, a fairly well dressed man, uh, slightly unkempt hair, uh, and a mustache, uh, with some something stuffed into his mouth. Uh, and he he sees you and says, "Please, will you please just let me out? I'm begging you. It's so hot in here. We have to find a creature. I know the creature thinks that I'm the creature. I'm not the creature." We just have to be sure of who I you know, are. I know, the big guy is so hot in there, but he's going to go out. Why did they lock you in there? They didn't lock me in. They just placed me there. The creature locked you in there? Yes, he got out. And how did he get out? Well, I suppose. 
Can you please pull the string out of my mouth? Don't do it. Don't do it. Do it. Stick your fingers in the box. It, it, Don't you can get stick two your fingers, fingers in the bowl. Inside there. <laughs> and and he, he he goes. <laughs> and, and you grab and, and it and it's some sort of fabric. And he he uh, oh his mouth a little bit. Uh, it's very wet. It's it's a it's a sock. <laughs> it's a sock. <laughs> and he's like, oh my god, uh, oh thank you so much. Like his mouth is like stuck, kind of open because it's been stuck in that position for so long. Oh my god, thank you so much. <clears throat> oh, I at least I can breathe better now. Oh, I. My name is Solomon Green. I am with the Central Intelligence Agency in the United States. My friends that you're out there with, I'm sure that they think that I am the creature. I am guaranteeing you right now I am not. I just, I, I want to do whatever I can to try to help you to rec to get the creature back in control before everything gets out of hand. Please, will you please, I'm begging you, please just let me out. Is the creature dangerous? Just because it can change shape, does that mean it's in all honesty, I personally, I don't believe that it really means any harm. It's just a little bit of a troublemaker. How does it change shapes? I don't know. Does it do something before it changes shapes, like say something? I believe that it has to come in contact with whoever it is that it is changing places with. Who who are you taking the creature to in Inverness? I'm sorry? Who are you taking the creature to in Inverness? We're taking it to a, a laboratory that is owned by the United States government. Where's the laboratory? I cannot tell you that. Okay. As right. much as I appreciate you taking that thing out of my mouth, I cannot tell you that. Mm. Well, we're getting nowhere fast with these guys, so I'm going to say stick the sock back in his mouth and we're, we're in it for the ride. You're going to have to open that door to stick that sock okay, back in his mouth. Okay, never mind. Don't, don't, don't. Door and stick the sock in his so, mouth. <laughs> if you would like to stick the sock back in my mouth, please just open the door. No. Oh, let me just... <laughs> Oh, no! Right, Andy? Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. <sighs> okay. We should go talk to the other guy who says he's Solomon. Didn't he say there was another guy who, who said he was Solomon in the other train car? Uh, well, this is this is Solomon, uh, as far as you know. Um, he, he introduced himself as Solomon. Uh, so what were you saying? You, you want to go? Well, I thought, okay, Solomon's another agent. He's not the scientist or whatever he that Cleveland was talking about. I got confused. Oh, the scientist that is uh, Washington. Yeah. Sorry, I got confused. There he is. I want to go talk to Washington. Okay. All right, so... As you make it out of the bank car back into the standard car where Henry uh, and Peter were located, you see that there are two um, train workers, uh, a couple of porters that have come into the car. Uh, and Henry uh, has been doing his best to uh, kind of convince them that the gunshot that they heard uh, was was not actually a gunshot, even though he is bleeding and wounded. <laughs> Um, that it was a, a, a simple backfire uh, from, uh, from the weapon. It was a misfire. 
uh, and he has injured himself and he needs medical attention. So they are in the process of uh, taking him uh, through the next car uh, and uh, towards the front of the train uh, at this point. So uh, Henry explains, you know, the situation to you at this point, and they say that they're going to take him up to the, uh, the full steerage car uh, where they have some medical equipment where he can be uh, attended to properly. You take good care of him. Um, so Moira, you're wanting to try to find this Washington Riswell, is that correct? Yeah. Um, now, I know you see him on the map, but you don't really okay. actually know where he is. Um, let's see. So I'll ask Cleveland. I guess he's right there. Um, he kind of stopped probably about halfway through the car just to sit for a moment because he's he's still not doing well himself. Uh, and actually has probably <laughs> stopped to talk to one of the porters about potentially accompanying him uh, to the same car where Henry is uh, going to be heading as well. Um, yeah, but yeah, you can you can interrupt and, and speak with him briefly. Okay. Can I offer some um, assistance for his healing as well while I talk to him? Yeah, uh, you can. I roll for that or do I need to roll for that yeah, one? Uh, you, you'll roll for that. Do you want to use your uh, first aid, or do you want to not? Um, I think I can only... Let's see, what is it? I think it, it has five charges, I believe. Is that right, what we said, Andy? Uh, it's four. Four, okay. Five uses. Oh, five uses? Five okay. To refill so we have four less, left, left, then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to, uh, if, 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 I'm sorry, were you going to use one or no? Well, I, do I need to use the medic kit every time I use healing no, now? No, you don't have to. Uh, you can choose yeah. not to. You would just get a minus one uh, to your roll uh, okay. if that's the case. I will do that, just the regular healing. Mm -hmm. Oops, it sounds poor, sorry. And do I, oh, I target him as well, yeah? Um, you, you, let's try it and see. <laughs> well, I don't think we've done that yet, but yeah, let's try that. It doesn't say who it healed or anything. Yeah, it looks like it did actually. So, did yep, sure did. Okay. <laughs> So before I just magically heal him, I guess I I say you know, I can help you, Cleveland, if you if you let me. Mm -hmm. I have power, and hopefully he said yes because he, I he did. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to ask you a little bit more about the um, the scientist that found the creature. What else do you know about? the story behind that behind how he found it give me a persuasion roll <clears throat> trying persuasion. where's persuasion there it is sorry <clears throat> Listen, I've already given you way more information than what I probably should have uh, to begin with. Riswell is an asset for the American government. He's been living in England for about the last seven years, conducting experiments for us. 
And ever since the Great Reawakening, or whatever it is you all call it over here, he's been keeping tabs not only on the activity uh, in in this region uh, that is connected to the Fae, the paranormal, um, the supernatural, but also looking beyond. We believe that what this creature is that we have locked up in that cage back there is something not of this world. Now, I know that you as a member of the Knights of Victoria, have seen and experienced things that you consider to be not of this world. But what we're dealing with here is something that is not from this Earth. Do you understand? I mean, it's from another planet? That's what we believe. And when I say it is like nothing that we have ever seen before, it is like nothing that you have on your records. And your records are way more extensive than any of the records that we have at our disposal. So whatever that thing is, is of great value, and that is why there are other people that are looking for it. So oh, it's financial gain? Uh, that's probably a small fraction of why people would want this thing. Are they going to harm the creature? Who? The scientists that you're taking it to the lab where you're taking it or whoever? That's not for me to say. I don't know the answer to that question. There will be experiments done on it. That is all I know. And do you think that is right? It's not for me to question whether it's right or wrong. It's for me to do my job. I can respect that. I would still like to speak with the scientist. <clears throat> Well, I probably can't stop you. Where is he? <laughs> but I don't have to tell you where he is. <laughs> All right. I've finished dealing. Thank you, Cleveland. Thank you. Alright. I guess I'm gonna go exploring. Okay. You going by yourself? Unless someone wants to follow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, then you would head into the next standard car uh, just up from there, uh, up into this area right up in here. I gotta. And in this car, there are several uh, other passengers, um, probably about six uh, other individuals that are just uh, seated about, um, several of which, you know, kind of are intently looking through the door uh, into the alternate standard car where all the ruckus <laughs> had been happening earlier and just kind of curious to know, you know, what was going on. Uh, when you come back in, they all kind of uh, very hurriedly kind of look back at their magazines and their newspapers and, and so forth, uh, acting like they, you know, are, are not showing interest in, in you. Um, I guess I'm just gonna walk through and kind of look at everyone to see if anyone looks stands out, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Notice, maybe? Yeah, give me a notice. Sorry, my leg is cramping up at it. 
apologize. <laughs> I, I likely will not be able to stand by the time we're finished here tonight. So if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I guess I got a five. Okay. Um, everybody on this car seems ever so slightly nervous. Um, because they're really just not sure what's going on. There was a loud noise uh, and some yelling and shouting that was uh, taking place in the car behind them. Uh, and a couple of porters came rushing through uh, a few minutes ago. And you know, there's a little bit of controlled chaos at this point uh, that, that's going on. So they're all kind of wondering, <laughs> you know, what's going on. Other than that, nothing too much seems out of the ordinary. Okay. Guess I'll keep walking. Okay. You head into the, <laughs> heading Don't to the next there. car. I will head to the next car. Okay. When you get in here, uh, you see that there are three figures in here. Um, a gentleman in a uh, in a top hat and kind of a rapshod uh, suit uh, with coat and tails uh, and kind of almost like a t-shirt underneath uh, with a long beard. Uh, and then you see the two German officers uh, that are in there with him. One of them is holding the uh, the gentleman in the top hat uh, from behind and holding his arms back behind him while uh, the uh, more senior officer is, uh, is shouting questions at him. As soon as that door opens to uh, this particular car, their attention is immediately turned to you. Uh, and one of them, sorry, I just had a pop-up pop up on my screen here. Um, Okay, you bastard, get off of there. Um, the senior officer uh, pushes the gentleman with the top hat in back further into the arms of the uh, of the other German officer, and he draws a pistol and points it at you, uh, and he says uh, in English. Back away, back away now. This is none of your concern. What kind of lighting is in this cat? In this, is there fire? <laughs> I'm asking um, if there like, are uh, uh, gas, gas lamps, lamps okay. in here. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go use my elemental manipulation and get fireballs. Two fireballs in my hand. Okay. And I'm going to say, um, do I need to do the, do I need to roll just to have it ready? Yeah, you need to spend a PowerPoint okay. uh, and then you're going to roll um, spell casting. Okay. There we go. There you go. You good? Yep. <clears throat> okay. You still have somebody targeted, it looks like. Um, I think it's me. I think I've targeted Oh, is it you? Me. Okay. All right. <laughs> so right now, I'm not... Well, maybe it is me. There we go. Is that better? Mm. Okay. All right. So... Um, What's all this, then? <laughs> uh, he sees this uh, act of you pulling in this energy to... Uh, bring these fireballs into your hands uh, and he immediately poof, pulls the trigger. Oh shit. Am I dead? <laughs> <laughs> Am I dead? <laughs> you've gone the way you've gone the way of Henry. All these all these guys are so trigger happy. They are. Do we hear, <clears throat> do we hear that? A train car and a half away? Uh, two train cars away there, so uh, you'll have to roll a notice. Can I do that now? Well, hell, every, everybody else heard the gunshot from Henry's. That was one car away. 
<laughs> oh no, I'm gonna freeze again. I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Don't worry, come on. I'll move. I'll move my guy. Uh, I notice. <laughs> Uh, it's pissing me off. Did did that appear on your screens at all? Did what? Uh, my roll. For Lorenz Windisham. Windisham. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, he rolled a two. He, had, he rolled he a, a two. two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, he uh, he fires and misses. Ooh, that's oh. close. <clears throat> so I'm gonna fire one of each at both at. I guess I'll fire at him because he's in the front, right? Don't miss and kill Washington. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Okay. He so. Oh, damn it. Okay. Targeted. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Do I do the same spell? Uh, since you're going to throw it at him, okay. you've already got the the two balls uh, that yeah. have appeared. Now, did you 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 spent your uh, your power point, right? Yeah, I just changed it just okay. now. So. <laughs> uh, and I, I guess since you've got two of them, you're going to actually have to probably spend two power points. Okay. I'll I'll allow that to happen. So okay. now you're going to roll athletics uh, to throw it at him. <laughs> and Mike, I saw your little giggle there at the two balls in her hands. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm waiting for someone to laugh at it. That's <laughs> just two balls, but two big fiery balls. Fire ball. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Fire ball. I'm going to yell that while I destroy it. Get that, get, that, get that person some light game. <laughs> Alright, so you got a five. Is that right to hit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so that's a hit on him. Uh, and now you're going to roll damage. Um, oh, I can't remember. So let's see here. If you. You've still got him targeted, right? I think so, yes. Okay. So you're going to go to elemental manipulation and then hit damage. Ah, damage. And, and just roll it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep. And yeah, that's pretty good. Tell me what you got, because I'm not seeing it here. Am 11. I... Oh, that's pretty good. Ooh. Okay, good. Yeah. So <laughs> you send uh that fireball at him uh -huh. and it just catches him directly in the face <laughs> and uh just like out of indiana jones <laughs> his head just catches on fire <gasps> and he begins to run uh towards the back uh, right. of the uh train here and he falls dead in a slump uh at the back catches door there the fire uh, Did he catch the train car on fire? Um, let's see here. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's just, since you asked. <laughs> How exciting. It's, it's a one. Sense. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that area of the uh, train car is now on fire. <laughs> Yay. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I would do something interesting. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Give me just one second. At least I didn't do it in the we didn't do it in the cannon car. <laughs> it's cool that this train has a cannon car. No, but the cannon it's just like a regular train with cannons. <laughs> it should have tipped us off right at the beginning. <laughs> yes. It has a stable car but no horses. Oh. Well that's good. Anyway, it's got a first class car. Why were we not sitting in the first class car? 
We could have completely avoided this entire situation <laughs> had we been in the first class car. Riding that'll, in teach, that'll teach the royalty to be cheap with their <laughs> workers. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Right. Um. Okay, so and I apologize. What what was your next uh, next action that you were wanting to do? Who you me? still had the other fireball, right? <laughs> fireball. <laughs> okay, now those are your balls. This guy fireball. now has the scientist Washington uh, in front of him at this point. So I mean, if you did throw something at him, there's a big risk that you might catch Washington on fire as well. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna yell at him. Do I know German? I think I know German, don't I? <laughs> yeah, probably. I That's I pretty close enough, yeah. Now. I have yeah. languages now, so let yeah. me see. Yeah, you, you'll want to roll, um... Under my smart... Yeah. Language, yeah. Roll language there. I'm going to yell at him in German to let the guy go. And I'm going to say something really very German. It shows him I mean. You got a nine. Okay, so that's good. So you're able to communicate with him with no problem. Uh, and now I'm going to have you roll intimidation. Oh, crap. No, but you, you get a... Uh, plus one. To that. Because anything in German is pretty scary. In <laughs> Actually, plus two because it's in German. <laughs> but, nobody, but I don't have intimidation. Though. Oh, you don't have an intimidation. Okay. Oh. Um, an unskilled attempt. It just says agility, though. Never mind. Give me a sec on that. <laughs> Did anyone up upgrade? to add intimidation at all. So, yeah, you are going to do an unskilled attempt. Uh, even though that says uh, agility, it, it's, it doesn't, it, it's not taking that into account. So just roll unskilled. Okay. So just click on it and roll it, huh? Yeah, and but so it'll be a, a D4 and a D6 is what it should roll. And it's going to give you a minus two on it. But if you can, I think you should be able to do this. Um, let me, let, do you mind if I roll for you? I'm going to try oh, something here. Easy. This is the first time doing an unskilled attempt. I do that all the time. In a situational mod, we're going to do a plus two. And that should do it. There you go, minus two, plus two. Okay, so you got a six. Um, and he releases Washington and he puts his hands in the air and he backs uh, backs up just a little bit, but he, then he feels the heat of the fire behind him <laughs> at this point. Okay. Uh, so he's uh, literally stuck between a rock and a hard place. Can I put the fire out with my elemental manipulation before yep, I Yeah, you'll have to uh, spend everything. another power point to do that, but yeah, okay. uh, and make the roll. Okay, I'm going to tell Washington to get down, get over here and get down, and then to get away from the German. Okay. German dude. Oh, hold on. There. Are you still accidentally yelling in German? <laughs> I don't think I've accident. No, no. I could, if I knew enough German. Okay, so I'm going to spend another PowerPoint. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I screwed it up. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I put the fire out. Okay. And is that one, one PowerPoint? Uh, yes, one PowerPoint. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Washington listened to me, I guess. Yeah, he uh, he ran over to your side there. Okay. 
Who are you? I came to, to find you to talk to you about what's in the pot. We get, we've got to get rid of these Germans first, though. Uh, I, I say so, yes. Okay. Um, is anyone in the next car over? No? Nobody's um, <laughs> in, in which car? The dining car? If anyone was, any of my comrades were anywhere near us, they're not. Uh, no, they're not. They did not follow you. They did uh, not. Behind the door uh, that was on fire, you see uh, two individuals. Oh, great. Now I can't move. Oh, well, well, hang on. Hang on really quick. Yeah. It, we all rolled a notice, so nobody moved after. The gunshot? Yeah. I heard it. Oh, you rolled the notice. Okay, yes. We didn't resolve that. That's my bad. So, who all noticed? Everybody. Uh, I, I, I Everybody got a did? three. Yeah, I, I got three. Me. Okay, you can start making your way towards uh, that other car. So, uh, whatever your base pace is, and if you're running, you can roll a d6 uh, to uh, go a little bit further. Uh, so, Bendigo. Oops. Oops, that's a D20. <laughs> Does a three get me going any faster? Yeah, uh, so you'll move six squares plus three. Six, 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 one, two, three. Okay. And that goes the same for anybody else that, that uh, wants to do that. Father Mapple, are you going or are you staying? Uh, I, I started heading that way, but that's as far as I got. Okay, that's as far as you got. Okay. Now, was that with your run? Yes. I, okay. I only got a one on. Gotcha. Add on. Okay. Hieronymus, are you staying? No, nope, I'm staying with the box. Okay. Charlie? I'm heading that direction. Okay. All right, so Moira. <laughs> We just you moved see, one round. Yeah, yeah, one round. You see through the window uh, that leads to the uh, dining car, uh, the two Arab gentlemen uh, that are attempting to come through the door, but the body of uh, the German uh, is blocking the door uh, at this point. Mm -hmm. They're trying to push him out of the way so that they can come in. Uh, and they're shouting in Arabic uh, at, uh, at you. So it's your turn. I think I'm going to grab Washington by the arm, and I think we're just going to start backing out of that train car into to, into the next train car. Okay. All right. You going to move at your uh, regular pace, or are you going to go fast? Um, probably regular pace because I think we're going to. I'm going to keep my eye on the door and just kind of be like pulling. But we're right by the door, so. Okay. One, two, three, four. What is your pace? I'm looking here. Pace is six. Okay, so you should be able to get about right there. Okay. Oh, thank goodness, Bendigo. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so you good. see Bendigo there. Uh, ben Bendy, you see... Uh, Moira and uh, a rather frazzled looking uh, older gentleman uh, being dragged behind her uh, heading in your direction. Moira, <clears throat> I thought I heard some gunshots. Everything all right? Who's this bloke? This is the scientist uh, that found the creature. Um, we got a situation in the next car. I think we're going to have some uh, guys coming after us here in a minute. Ah, so we're going to have some fun. <laughs> Back up. I unsheath my boomerang. I show it to the scientist. Uh, <laughs> he, he he looks. Wow, that's a big one. <laughs> he 
You call that a that's, boomerang? That's this is a boomerang. That. <laughs> uh, and let's see here. These two guys. Uh, three, four, five, six. Six. And we're going to roll to see if they can get a little further. Two and three. Okay. Uh, you can kind of see again through the window in between these two cars that uh, the two Arabic gentlemen have now uh, freed themselves and are attempting to run through uh, that car. Uh, the other German is standing in the middle uh, of the car as the two <laughs> Arabic gentlemen dart past. He's still got his hands up. <laughs> <laughs> Fire. Um, and I think now, since we got so much going on, it's probably a good time to roll some initiative. <laughs> and how long is this trip to Inverness? Um, six hours. <laughs> six weeks long. I think it was about eleven or twelve hours, uh, but you were stopping halfway in another city. Have we got to that <laughs> We're 15 minutes out of the station. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> we got one guy dead, one guy bleeding out. <laughs> Not even up to speed. <laughs> Part of the car is uh, on fire. Moira's so. got a wet sock hanging out of the back of her robes. <laughs> it smells like Solomon's mouth. That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> And yet, we haven't spooned the entire trip. <laughs> we had a chance to. Straight into the action. All right. So I think that's got everybody there. All right, so um, Hamza Al Jafari uh, actually goes first. Uh, he is going to continue his run, moving ten spaces: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That brings him to the next car. I'm going to have him stop about halfway, though, uh, so get through that door and see if that causes a uh, an issue for him here real quick. Let the door slim down so he really can't run. That's that's what I'm rolling the agility for here for him. Uh, I really wish I would have gone first. I was going to jam my electro staff underneath yeah, the door. Yeah, that thing so didn't slow him it. down at all. He caught it just as it was closing. Uh, and he ends up uh, pretty much right behind um, the scientists there, uh, Washington. And he's going to make for a grab on him to try to pull him away from you. you got a three, not enough. Uh, Hieronymus, uh, you're next. Uh, what's the two people in the same car, with the bank car with me going to do? They are standing there looking at you. I guess I'm going to stand there looking at them because I, I really can't leave. I'm, I, I'm not leaving this guy since uh, we've pulled the sock out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. uh oh, um, Father Mapple. Um, <clears throat> I will just keep trying to get to where the action is. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Move pretty quickly for an old man. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey, got you to the end, other end of the car. It's like shoots and ladders. Just go ahead and put yourself in the. <laughs> <Just like, laughs> right. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking of when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rushdi Al Kaba is going to make a roll to run as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Make a little agility roll for him. Uh, 
and the door shuts on him. <laughs> so it's going to pause him there for a moment. Uh, Charlie. I'm still heading in that direction. Okay. Um, so how do I move from one to the next? Just um, to yeah, you've got your pace is six. Five, so that's five, and then put yourself There's up here, then for number six, and then you you roll how many extra? Three? Three more? Yep. Okay. Here I am. Yep, okay. So you're within range. Now, if you made any action, it's going to be at a minus, and these, number one, are really cramped quarters, and you've also run past your full pace. Uh, so you're going to be at pretty heavy disadvantage here. And what do I see? You see Bendigo Jack facing Moira, uh, who has got a uh, older gentleman in tow and playing tug of war with uh, the uh, uh, Arab uh, Hamza Al Jafari. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to be at a minus two uh, to do just about anything. Yeah. It seems kind of risky. It's a bit risky, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try intimidation and just shout... (laughs) On the ground, everybody. Okay. Let's see what happens. Can you giggle like that? <laughs> <laughs> On the ground, everybody. <laughs> That's a good scene. Now I get him. Oh, she did. And yeah. That's pretty impressive. The voice is scary sometimes. Hmm. Let's do a spirit roll for him. <laughs> Hopefully the right people are intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> Bendigo goes straight to the ground. Like <laughs> 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 right there. Passing gas the whole you time. got a raise on that, so... Um, You shout at him with a with a rather impressively booming voice, uh, and coming from a woman that stands about seven feet tall, uh, actually sets old Jafari uh, for a bit of a loop, <laughs> uh, and he releases his grasp uh, on um, the scientist. Uh, now he doesn't get down on the ground, but you've at least startled him back for a moment. Uh, where he's kind of questioning what his next move is going to be. Um, Bendigo. Ooh, my turn. Okay. So if I move within my pace, can I go around them so I'm like right up in his face? Um, or am I not able to get past them because it's... You can, you can kind of climb over that uh, um, booth right there. Okay, so that's five right there. Mm-hmm. So I'm still within my pace. Mm-hmm. Just uh, make an athletics roll to just make sure that you know you oh, don't dear. stumble. Because I'm gonna stumble. We know that. <laughs> I got a four. Yep. yep, that's good. Okay, okay. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to climb over him and just take my electro staff and just poke him with it. Okay. Like just bury it right in his side. All right, fighting. Uh, and you can go uh, just as a reminder you go to your uh, actual gear uh, and click on the electro staff make sure you have him selected ooh wait let me target him Mm -hmm. I didn't do that yeah I put it in my quick access because I have it okay fighting Mm -hmm. I got a five that's a miss I'm right on top of yeah. He has uh, a. Do I spend a Benny? He has a parry of six. So he kind of saw you. Ca- yeah, you can, you can do a Benny, sure. Yeah. There you go. 
take that. <laughs> Alright, so that's a hit. Now you can roll damage. Okay. Yeah, and just uh, click on Hamza Al Jafari hit on the uh, chat bar over there. And he is shaken. Oh, cool. Oh, and I did discover in the chat when you roll, where it tells you what number you rolled, you'll see that little circle icon. That's your Benny. If you click that, it'll just spend a Benny immediately, re-roll, and update it. That's new, I think. Pretty cool. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've never noticed it until tonight. Hmm. Neither have I. And now I've spent two Bennies, so. <laughs> I got okay, more. All right. Um, when Charlie yelled, I think I did kind of duck a little bit, but I'm still pulling Washington along the car. Mm -hmm. Do you want to continue that move then? Is that yeah. what you're planning? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you can move your uh, your full pace with him. Oh, I'm going to pop Charlie. <laughs> there you go. About that. That's good. All right, so we shall re-roll. Okay, that's so weird. Reset. It's not working. All right, Ronnie. Hey, <laughs> you just gonna stand there and stare again? <laughs> oh, he might have stepped away. Oh, I know. I'm. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. You got no video, though. Uh-huh. That's weird. Let's see if it comes back. Um, yeah, no, I mean, as long as those two people are there, I'm not leaving that box. Okay. Moira. Um, the guy's shaking. I don't think I need to do anything. I think I need to just keep running away with these guys. Okay, yep. I already caught someone on fire. Mm hmm. So, one, two, three, four. Maybe we meet up with Mapple here in the doorway. Mm hmm. I think I quickly tell him who he is. Okay, that's fine. Charlie. I'm going to follow. Follow them. Yeah. Good. I'm just going to leave Bendigo in there by himself now. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie I'm out. Used to it. <laughs> He's got things under control. <laughs> Ran away. She sees you... me like showing him my boomerang. He's like shaking and passed out on the ground. And I'm like, you see the inscription here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bendigo, it's your turn. Okay, so is the other guy still on the other side of the door? Uh, yeah, at this point. Is he holding on to the door, like trying to get it open? Yeah, he's, he try he's trying to get it open, yeah. What's that door made out of? Uh, wood and glass. What's the handle made out of? Mm, iron. <laughs> so it's conductive? Mm, probably, yeah. Okay. I look over and I see him. Mm -hmm. I see him. And I'm just going to stick the electro <laughs> staff right on the handle. <laughs> 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 um just uh make a make an agility or uh, the, the athletics athletics okay do yeah. i need to target anybody or um or just no. roll athletics <laughs> just roll athletics yeah okay just make sure you can actually just just touch it i got a five yep that'll do uh okay. now now you're gonna roll damage Okay. Should I target him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then do the electro staff yep. damage? Mm -hmm. You got it. Uh. 
Uh, and then how much damage did you do to uh, Alcabal? Seven. Okay. That would be enough to shake him him then as well. So kind of, you see him, he's tugging at that thing. He looks up at you as you're poking towards it, and he's like, hmm? <laughs> and just, you send him back about five feet <laughs> into the car. There you go. There you go. I can't believe it worked. (laughs) (laughs) Cool. It looks like we lost Andy out of the uh, game too, didn't we? He's not in the uh, in Foundry either. Hmm. No, we lost him entirely. Yeah, that's all right. He's just going to stand there and stare at those other guys anyway. <laughs> Anything we can open in Okay, so Father Mackel, then it goes to you. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep heading that way. Okay. Uh, my regular pace, so. All right. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you see um, one of the uh, Arabic gentlemen that is uh, has been shocked and is on the ground uh, and is trying to push himself back up uh, at this point. Um, but you have an action if you want to do anything. Um, I'll, I'll try to, uh, throw my ironclad Bible at him. Mm, okay. You're just going to go all Captain America on him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the just fighting? Or? Uh, that would be agility. Or, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 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 uh athletics. Yep. Uh, and then he... Yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> Clonk. <laughs> uh, and then you're going to roll the damage of the... I don't, does that have damage on it? I don't... Since I, it's a shield? It's mostly a defensive thing. Okay, so that'll be your strength. Okay. Uh, so it's a D8. Uh, so you, if you go to strength uh, and target him with strength... That should do it. Unfortunately, he is not. That was the damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. His toughness is above that, so yeah, you didn't, you weren't able to damage him with that. You chuck it at him, and it just kind of bounces off. <laughs> Probably that same shoulder that <laughs> you tried to stab him in <laughs> the last time. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Uh, and then that goes to Hamza, which is him. Uh, he's going to roll vigor to try to unshaken him. There's Andy. All right, let's see if we can do unshaken here. He is no longer shaken. And Rushdi is going to do the same thing. And he remains shaken. Okay, so Hamza is now pushing himself up uh, uh, in order to reach in and draw his scimitar. Uh, so he, you see him making that motion. We're going to go back to the top of the, uh, the round here and roll again for everybody. Oh, 
That was uh, dead. Okay, so Rusty is still shaken. I'm going to go ahead and make another roll to see if I can get him out of that. And he is now unshaken. And Lady Moira. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to keep Washington's arm and then I'm going to yell at Cleveland that your asset was just attacked by two German dudes. Two German blokes. Where was Solomon? <clears throat> what? Where was Solomon? Uh... Who's Solomon? <laughs> He's the guy you think is in the box. Exactly. He wasn't in the car. He wasn't in the car. I didn't see him. Oh, shit. And you, you see him hob hobbling back towards the uh, the back of the, uh, the standard car, heading towards the bank car where the box is. Mm-hmm. Now, can I open the box? <laughs> <laughs> um, Hamza is uh, reaching for his sword. And Bendigo, you're right there next to him. So he's going to target you and take a swipe at you uh, with the sword. It's going to regret it. got a four, which I don't think is enough. Oh, I didn't target you, damn it. Yeah, it's not enough. Uh, you've got a parry of seven. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're good. He takes a swipe at you uh, and goes uh Kind of, he actually thrusts in at you. It kind of goes right in between your legs because you're kind of standing on that uh, uh, booth there. <laughs> and he just he completely biffed it. Um, and Charlie. Well, Oh jeez. So I, I think I'm gonna ask Rizwell. And when I say ask, I mean grab him by the shoulder throat <laughs> and, and ask him, do you know what's in the box? Can you identify what's in the box? Uh, give me an intimidation roll. All right. Oops. Oops. I targeted myself. Let me not do that. Okay. There. Okay, you got a four. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to have him resist that. Um, and he says, yes, it is an unidentified alien species. We do not, do not know of its origins, but it did come from outer space. But if you see it, can you tell us if what you put in the box is what's in the box? In its true form, yes, but it is it has shape-shifting abilities uh, and can assume just about any humanoid form. If when it is in that form, it is very difficult to to uh, to discern whether or not it is what it is. He's very clever. And that's all we have time for in that short period of time. Father Mackle. Um, 
So H Hamza just tried to. Yeah, take a swing at Bendigo Jack. Bendigo. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try to throw the knife at him again and see if I can get it to stick this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, that just be in athletics at uh, first, and mm. then. Yeah, I think uh, you should have in your gear with the knife. Uh, you've got athletics throwing if you click on the knife. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh, and you can roll it there. Uh, make sure you have them targeted. Dope. That's always the hard thing to remember, I know. You, you may roll again. All right, thank you. There you go. And then now hit... Uh, uh, Hamza Al Jafari hit. See how much damage you do. Get locked up again for me. Oof. He's wounded. Ooh, wound and shaken. Nice. All right, so he's out. Uh, so you, this time you stick them uh, uh, right in the clavicle once again. <laughs> but this time it goes, shunk, and he looks at it and he goes, <gasps> and falls to the side. Um, Bendigo. Okay. <clears throat> so he's no longer a threat? Correct. Okay. The other guy? On the other side of the door, is he a threat? Um, yes. Okay. So in my bag, I have a hammer. If I had a hammer. So I'm going to get the hammer out, and I'm going to kick the door open if it's capable of being kicked open. Mm -hmm. I'm going to toss it up in the air and catch it, and I'm going to walk towards him and take a swing. Okay. Because <clears throat> his friend just tried to stab me in the crotch with a sword. <laughs> with the with the intent of hitting him, I assume, yes? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So. Do, 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 do. Okay. Emma. And then, so would that be fighting, fighting. I guess? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Oh, let me target him. Ooh, hello, nurse. <laughs> That's a hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Dude, he's tough. He is tough. Yep. <clears throat> and so he's shaking once again. The Germans still standing there like this. <laughs> uh, Hieronymus, you still uh, standing and, and, and looking? Uh, yeah, do I see Cleveland coming in at this point? Yeah, Cleveland starts rushing in. He's like, the key, give me the key. I don't have the key. <laughs> you don't have the key? Nope. Who has the key? Um, why do you need to know? Because, because I have no we need idea to get, what's going on. <laughs> we need to get uh, Solomon out of that cage. But you said he was not Solomon. It is Solomon. No, you told me it was not Solomon. It's Solomon. So Get I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw my weapon at this point because now I think the creature is him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, you're drawing your weapon. Yep. Okay. Let me get him in the mix here then. <laughs> And we will go to the next round. <laughs> well, what is the special word? <laughs> <laughs> it's like purple. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really forget the word, mate? <laughs> no. Herpy. 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 What? <laughs> Hey, Hieronymus got a uh, black joker, so uh, you get to go first there, Hieronymus. Ooh. Well, at this point, I'm just, man, I hate to waste a black joker. But, uh, uh, 
Is he close enough that I can try to knock him over the head? With no. The, like the well, oh. I, you, um, you could walk towards him, but he he is drawing his pistol on you. Oh, okay. Um, because uh, really, I just want to intimidate him from from getting any closer. And then don't forget, you've got the other two <laughs> uh, yeah, that individuals well. there with him as well. Are they doing anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm turning their combat state on right now. So yeah, they're mm, they're nice. reaching for their guns. Okay. All right. Um, I, gosh dang. Cleveland, you told me earlier that this is not Solomon. But Solomon wasn't with the scientist. If he's not with the scientist, then he's got to be in there, and that thing is on the loose. Now give me the key. I don't have the key. But Who I can't has let, the key? I can't tell you that either. All right, we're going to move on. <laughs> Time is of the essence. Um, Carolina uh, is uh, shouting at you now as well. Just tell him where the key is. Uh, Rushdie uh, is now going to roll for Unshaken. Uh, He was already shaken, so uh, I guess that must not have worked. Let's try it again. No longer shaking, may act normally. Okay. Uh, but that's all he can do that round. Uh, Hudson. Uh, also is shouting at you, uh, Hieronymus. Uh, just give us the key. Give us the key now. <laughs> and once again, we're in another Quentin Tarantino film with a Mexican <laughs> standoff. Um, Lady Moira. I'm going to run through this car as fast as, as hard as I can and duck under people's legs. And I'm running straight for the box. Okay. Key. All right. Are you going to add on to your regular move? Yes. Okay, so roll um, a d6. And do I click the little box near my pace? Or uh, oh, yeah, you, you should be able to do that, yes. Mm-hmm. I can't remember how to do that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right? I forgot that that was there, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you get to ro- move nine spaces. Charlie. Mm-hmm. I'm torn. But I think it looks like Washington is still with me here. Oh, you have a suggestion? Well, I was going to say, you're just going to run in and start yelling at me too, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to head in the other direction. I'm going to I'm going to give Washington a shove to to follow Lady Moira and head in the other direction. Okay. Um quickly. Okay. So Looks like I've got a nine. Okay. And that should put you about right in here. Okay. Somewhere there. I uh, pretty much have already gone for Cleveland with all the shouting, so Father Mapple. 
Um, I just make my way over to uh, the downed Hamza and get my knife back and my Bible. Okay. Bendigo. This guy's not shaking anymore, right? Correct. Has he got the thing on his head? They keep the sun off of his back and all? Yeah. Am I able to pull that over his face and then punch him right in his <laughs> mouth? Sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so <clears throat> I just went in and I just whacked him with the hammer. And he, he got back up. I want to reach over, pull it over, and go, wow. Okay. As hard as I can. All right. Fighting. Targeting. Okay. Whoops, target him. And that would be what, fighting? Mm -hmm. I don't think I have. Uh, brawl. Uh, if you go over to gear and then click on brawl, oh, I'll set up yes. for you right there. Awesome. Okay. Uh, hold on. <laughs> You're gonna spend all those bennies again, aren't you? <laughs> I just spent my last one. <laughs> no! Oh no! <laughs> so I just, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> and I'm just hitting fabric you, every you, time. You, you grab a hole and get your hand caught up in the uh, in the tur the <laughs> the sheet. <laughs> I'm like, oh, just tired. <laughs> oh. I'm out of bennies, so I'm done. This is the most weird, chaotic round of combat that I've had in, in quite some time. <laughs> These are some tough dudes. Sure they are. They're just yelling at me. <laughs> sticks and stones, man. Sticks and stones. <laughs> Hiranos, you keep doing so well on your rolls. You get another uh, ace oh. there. So. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> okay. Um, gosh, at this point, um, are they being uh, way more aggressive than they were? No, they're, they're still just kind of shouting at you. Give us the key. Give us the key. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to hurt them because they haven't Everybody's got pistols drawn. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm just going to stand my ground with my two pistols drawn. I mean, okay. I, I don't have a key to give them. So, yep. Oh, damn. I didn't mean to do that. Screw that. Then go, are you still in the same order there? What do you mean? Uh, in the uh, combat tracker. I, I'm not sure exactly where you were in all of that. I don't know. Where's the combat tracker? Yeah. It, lo it looks like it. I mean, okay. he appeared and reappeared in the same okay. place on my all screen. All right, that's good. Okay. Hey, there's a combat tracker. Yeah. Okay. Hieronymus and then Rushdi and then me. He's going to take a swipe uh, at you, uh, just attempting to hit you at this point. Nope. He takes a big whiff, so <laughs> you, you both are tangled up in his uh, in his robes <laughs> at this point. <laughs> uh, Bendigo, back to you then. Okay. Uh, you know what? This is ridiculous. So I'm going to try to think. Does the plasma shotgun? Oh dear God! <laughs> <laughs> Kill people? <laughs> Usually, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my electro staff again. <laughs> so I assume like. When I went marching in there with the hammer, I like sat it down like right next to me, hit him, pulled the thing up over his head, got all tangled up, we're fighting. I want to reach back and grab that and just jam it like right up, right up here. Okay, fighting again. Okay, let me target him. 
There we go. There you are. And you go ahead and roll your uh, damage there on him. Give me a shake here. Oh, what? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. God, man. <laughs> he just keeps going back and forth, doesn't he? He's tough. <laughs> He's very tough. Next time, I'm going to put my soap in his mouth. Uh, Moira. I'm still running. Okay. Heading okay. into the car. Yep. Running, running. One, two, three, four, five, six. That actually would get you to the to the case. Oh, can I do that? Mm-hmm. Without having to. One, two, three. Now, you're kind of running past all of these people with guns and, and, yep. and whatnot. I am ducking and, like, I'm pretty small, mm -hmm. so... Do me, uh, do me oh, a yeah. favor. Just, yeah. just roll on athletics. What are you doing? You don't see me. You're busy being yelled at. Well, you're running right in the. T no. <laughs> no it's it it. What did I roll? Just it. Uh, I guess I only rolled a two. Okay. So maybe I run into somebody. <laughs> do you, do you want to spend a Benny? Yes, I do. Oh, I could have. Yeah, I could have done that differently. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Athletic. Come on, big money. That's better. There you go. So you can run in, kind of slide past uh, Hieronymus, and then you can jam the key in the lock uh, and unlock it. Okay. That's what is, that, is that what you're planning on? Yes. Okay. That's where we'll call it for tonight. <laughs> Can I, oh, can I please, please do one thing? Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. My very next move is to just take a few more steps into the next car. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I see Bendigo, I realize we've got all of our people and I'm going to throw one of my mini cannons to the far end of the car and try to blow up the pin that connects all oh of our cars. Oh, my dear God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do it. <laughs> if you want, we can figure out how to do those rolls for next time, if, if you'd rather wait. Or I could do it right now, whatever. Uh, no, I want you to do it right now. <laughs> you should do it, and as soon as you roll, he should close Foundry. Like, as soon as it's getting ready to be done, he's like, and next week, <laughs> we just all get booted. Um, what am I doing? A um, couple steps. One, two, three, four. Just slip right past Ben to go there. That's about six. No, he worked really hard on this map. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> this poor German. <laughs> okay. He's gonna blow the pin. He's gonna go. Is this? Um... So you're gonna do the mini lobbing grenade, not the weighted mini cannon. Uh yes. Uh, Correct. so if you hit on the lobbing gr grenade and then click athletics. Okay. I'm not sure how brute as an edge affects that at short range, but maybe it doesn't matter. Um, uh, just double check that. Treat athletics as links to strength instead of agility for purposes of, for purposes of advancement. Mm, short range, any thrown item by plus one. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's fine. You're, you're within range. That's, that's not a problem. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. I'm trying to click on the mini lobbing grenade mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. the words and I mm -hmm. don't see a roll. Okay. Don't click on the words, click on the actual grenade. There we go, friend. Okay. Is there a modification or no? Um, with the range that you're at. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's a hit. So you lob that grenade, 
uh, and that door uh, that had been burned has been broken down anyway. So you got a clear uh, like uh, goal <laughs> to shoot that mm-hmm. thing through. Uh, so you launch that sucker right through, and it hits the uh, the point that connects the two cars together, and just. <clears throat> And that's where we'll stop. <laughs> so we see we see two cuts here. We see at the same moment, the in slow motion, uh, Moira putting I like the key the in the lock. Okay. It is great, isn't it? <laughs> putting the key in the lock and turning it, and it goes click. And at the moment that oh, it clicks, don't forget, don't forget, she's also going. Purple, <laughs> purpy, <laughs> and, and at the moment that it clicks, uh, there's a huge explosion uh, that rocks the train, uh, and uh, and then that's where we'll pick up next time. <laughs> so thank you for that wonderful uh, climactic <laughs> ending there. <laughs> the German looks at it, turns back, and says. Good guys. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> and, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Like he's standing right in the middle of all of this. So, so, like that grenade just goes just right through. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, last man standing. All wow. right. We're never gonna get off this train. That's true. <laughs> there's some poor, there's some poor guy in the dining car hiding under a table that is not on the map. No, no I, I, ha- I really have to tell you guys, I literally had no idea what was in the box uh, when this whole thing began. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, That's great. <laughs> now we got alien. Uh, this is funny. I like it. <laughs> to be quite honest, uh, I have completely forgotten why we're even on this train. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just supposed to go do Botany in Inverness or something. Yeah, uh, yeah you were heading to Inverness for a completely different mission uh, <laughs> at this point. And uh, Dana is really wanting to try to uh, get in contact with uh, her, her childhood Ouija board. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. From the dream, right? Yep. So, okay. All right. All right. Got lots of chapters coming up. Unless Chris gets tired of it. All right. No, no, I got to, you know, we're, we're just now starting to scratch the surface of the actual uh, campaign I was wanting to run. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, just make like 11 random maps of just something. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll get used. <laughs> yeah, they probably will. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, gang, that was a lot of fun. Yep. Yeah. Cool. See you, everybody. Right. We'll see you all in two weeks. Okay. We'll Happy see you. Good. Good night. Stay safe. All right. Bye.